XSL. XS, XML is used to store the data. Okay, and we need a mechanism to display the data in a specified far format. Right? This is called as this is possible using XSL. Right? So that means that means XML you write the data. XSL you display data. Okay. So you have HTML which okay displays information. Okay. CSS it'll like you know modify the display. It is like uh, in CSS I, I can specify the background color, I can specify the color uh, which will be displayed. All the uh, coloring or modification how the display has to be done can be specified in CSS. Right? The same way CSS is XSL. Okay? So XML will have the data and XSL will specify how the data has to be displayed. If at all you want to display Right? XSL will display the data on the browser. You can specify. Okay. <coughs> XSL stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language. Like the way CSS is for st is style sheet for X HTML. XSL is the style sheet for XML. Okay. So XSL can navigate all the nodes or elements of the XML file and can display the XML data in the particular format. Right? This is done by XSLT, right? That is, which stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformation. Okay, it, trans it transforms the data into a specific format, which is specified by XSL. Okay. Okay. Like uh, XML is XML which has the data. Which will, XML will have the data. XSL will specify how exactly the data can be represented. Okay, using XSLT. Okay, features of XML. There is a question from Suresh. If we use XSL, do we still need SACS parser? Okay, I'll put across a different question to you, Suresh. Why do we need, when do we need SACS parser? When do we need XSL? Since you know XSL will convert the data from XML in a different format, okay? You can display the data. SACS will read the data and display it for you. Okay, so you tell me. I have, I have, I have told you both. Just think and tell me when do you need XSL? When do you need SACS parser? Okay, I'll, if you cannot, I will answer that question. Because the, why I'm asking this question to you because I want you to think about it. Only when you have the data or information about XSL and SACS, you will be able to differentiate when to use both. Okay, in a short while I'll come back. Meanwhile, please think about it. Yeah. Okay, now representing XML data in the required format. XSL, it will specify in which format you want to represent XML data. Queries also can be specified in XSL. Like, you know, you can specify if the books, uh, like, you know, a book cost is less than $10, you can display this for me or something like that. All the queries you can specify. XSL file reads the XML data looks for the query if it is given in the XSL file and displays data on the browser in the given format in the XSL file. We will look at XSL file now. Okay, now let's look at this. Let's say I have a book.xml. Let's say I have, okay. I have book.xml, okay. I have included book.xsl, okay. Let's see this. See here. Okay. Now, this is the XSL file. Now, you just look at this. Okay. Template match dollar. You are taking a root element. 
okay then html and body okay you are writing a html uh, code over here then you are writing my cd collection as h2 header 2 okay then you are looking at like you know you are displaying th th stands for table header okay title artist and country okay these are the table headers you are writing okay so uh, if you look at if you look at book you have a catalog as a root element for every cd you have title artist country company price and year in that what i what am i selecting okay okay first i am displaying title artist and country as a table header for each element of a catalog under that cd for each element of a catalog CD, okay, I am picking up title, artist, and country. See, I'm title, artist, country, okay. So I am picking it up, and I am displaying it. When I say TD table definition, okay, I am displaying as part of a table, right? So this is an XSL file. XSL file. What am I doing? I am specifying the path. This is XPath. Right, catalog slash CD. So I'm looking at catalog CD for all the CDs for each element of a catalog CD. Right, I'm picking up the data for title, artist, and country, and displaying in a table format. Okay, that's all. Here you are defining, you are specifying the header, table header. TH stands for table header, and here you are defining the data from the XML you are picking up. Now let me run this. Okay. See here. Now the XML file is displayed like this. Okay, title, artist, country, etc. Right. Now what I will do is I will add the uh, company. Okay. In the XML file. Now I'll def this is for the header. If I if I put it here, it just defines a header. Just see, it is not. It doesn't come the data. Oh sorry. See. Okay. Then. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm running a XSL file. That is why it is showing. Okay, I have to run the XML file. See here, company has been added. Company. Okay, Columbia CBS Records. See Columbia CBS Records. Right. It's displayed. Previously, uh, like you know, it was displaying only till the country. Now added the company. Now I can remove it, like you know, I can remove uh, country and company both in the XSL file. Okay, this if I remove this, it will remove the table header for me. If I remove this, it will remove the definition for me. The data which is which is going to display is okay. Now I'm saving this. Go to XML and run this. See here, I have displaying only title and artist which I have specified the title and artist as part of the XML file. That's all. My CD collection. Okay. Okay. So uh, if you want to use an XSL file, you specify in the XML file. You sp first you write the XSL file how exactly you want the transformation the, or uh, the, the text to be displayed. Okay, then you specify XML dash style sheet. Okay, it is a style sheet. Okay, it is like so. You specify type is text or XSL and what XSL file you have written, like you know book dot XSL. You specify that. Okay, you, this line is mandatory. Otherwise, it does not recognize. Okay, now 
that's what is written here. Browser should support XSLT, then otherwise the above code will not work. Okay, XML style sheet, this is how you have to write at the first line, like you know, to recognize the XSL file. Okay, type text slash XSL, href is welcome.xsl. Okay, this line should be used in the XML file to, to use the XSL file. Okay, this line will use the XML data and use XSL format and displays in XHTML in the browser. XHTML is XML and HTML. XML data, HTML display.